Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the top tricks on Honor X5 C+. Alright, so let's open up our settings first and let's make sure that when we click on display and brightness and scroll down a little bit more until you find screen refresh rate and make sure that you are using the high refresh rate or at least put it on the dynamic. Thanks to that we will have up to 90 hertz refresh rate and we will have the smoothest animation so it's like a must have turning it on. Next thing is possibility to use the performance mode in your battery. This mode is the best for example for gaming uh, thanks to that we will have the best performance possible but be aware that also the power consumption of your device will be increased and same thing with the temperature. So for example when you finish your gaming you should turn off that mode because Overheating your battery, it's not the best thing, and we should avoid situations like that. Alright, uh, so for now actually uh, I'm not planning anything, so I will turn it off. Uh, let's scroll down a little bit more until we find accessibility features and shortcuts and gestures. Uh, we have double press power button 2. Currently it's set to launch the recorder, uh, but in here we have other things that we can select, so we can turn on or off the torch, we can launch the timer, launch the calculator or start uh, recording the screen. Mm, let's go with the torch maybe. And now when we will double press the power button the torch should launch, so let's try it. And as you take a look everything work just like it should. When I will double tap again we can also turn it off. So everything works just like it should. Next thing is double press the volume down button with the screen off. Currently also the torch is selected. So maybe let's select something else, maybe to launch the calculator. So we need to turn off the screen. Now we need to double tap volume down and the calculator app successfully launched. So that's another cool uh, shortcut. And let's unlock the phone back into the settings and accessibility now down below we have the gestures we have the screenshot and you know the normal way of creating a screenshot is by clicking the power button and volume down button just like that that's the easiest way but we have the knuckle screenshot and the three finger screenshot uh, as we scroll to the right side, we can also see uh, all ways uh, of creating a screenshot. So let's begin with the uh, knuckle. We just need to knock twice on the screen to create a screenshot. Second thing is the partial screenshot. We need to select the part of the screen that we want to take a screenshot of. Down below we can change the shape. If you want to save, hit that button. Next thing is the scroll shot. We just need to draw an S using our knuckle. As you can see, it's taking a scroll shot. If you want to save it, again, hit the button on the top right corner. And the last thing is three finger screenshot, simply swipe. And that's how you can also create a screenshot really really cool ways of doing that. Now record screen. When we will knock twice using two knuckles the screen record should launch. Okay you can see that uh, now we are recording our screen. If you want to save it hit that uh, red button and now it's saved in our gallery. Okay now screen on and off. Raise your device to turn on the screen. We can enable that, raise to wake. We also have a double tap to wake, really worth enabling, and also a double tap to turn off the screen. So now, raise to wake first. Our phone is laying flat, our screen is turned off, and now when I'll pick it up, you can see that the screen launches automatically. Let's do it once again. Now, uh, unlocking the screen, I mean waking it up by simply double pressing. 
Uh, give me a second. I need to check something. Yeah, I have tap double tap to wake. Weird thing. Okay, now it works. I don't know why before I was tapping and nothing was going on. But now it works, as you can see. When our mm. screen is turned off, we can simply double tap. We can quickly ch uh, take a look on the hour and, for example, see that we have some notifications and we can turn off the screen using the same gesture. Really easy thing. Uh, next thing is... I'm a little annoyed that each time I'm exiting the accessibility features, the phone, uh, I mean, those uh, settings are uh, turned off. It annoys me a little. Um, yeah, that's all when it comes to that. And we also have mute ringtone. Uh, flip to mute the ringtone. So simply mm, when there's an incoming call, all we need to do to mute it is to flip our phone just like that and the call will be automatically muted. Pretty worth enabling, and in my opinion, it works really fine. I'm wondering if there's something more that I wanted to show you, but I think that is all, basically. Yeah. All right, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.